There are concerns this morning that interest rates could reach as high as 5% by year's end. Judo Bank economist Warren Hogan believes stubborn inflation will force the RBA to lift the cash rate in August, September and November of this year. So that's 0.75 in total. He was the only economist to predict five interest rate rises to 4.35% last year. So he's pretty good when it comes to predictions. And Mr Hogan says the central bank needs to follow other countries in getting that rate up to 5%. Well, Judo Bank's Chief Economic Advisor, Warren Hogan, he joins us now. Warren, uh, good to see you, but in the words of John McEnroe, you can't be serious. Yeah, Pete, thanks for having me on the show. It's, it's uh, Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it looks like this strategy of uh, us having a lower cash rate than the rest of the world because we've got more variable rate mortgages that it would do more damage to our economy... Um, it's, it's not playing out. The economy is actually looking a bit better this year. It was very soft last year. Um, it's early days, to be fair, but it just looks like we haven't got the cash rate at the right level to get this cost of living pressure down and this inflation out of our economy. Um, you know, so, look, it's, it's, it's just a reality, and if cost of living is the number one uh, priority... This is the only way we're going to get it done is by having that interest rate at the right level. And it just even though, be there. sorry, Warren, yeah, even though inflation is just about halved. Yeah, well, look, it, this is the thing: is the inflation coming from you know eight down to four or what have you is is a bit of an illusion. That was all the pandemic global inflation just disappearing from our system. What matters is the domestic inflation, and so you strip out all the uh, international effects. And basically what's happened is inter domestic inflation has come down from a, just over five to probably around four, four and a half. And that's still too high. But the thing is, it's not showing a lot of downward trajectory. It's a little bit, it's not much. And the other thing is if the economy is looking a little bit brighter, and of course these tax cuts on 1 July are going to give it a kick too, that's going to potentially put a bit of upward pressure on inflation at the end of the year or next year. So the RBA has to be forward looking. Um, and it's that domestic inflation which is problematic. Um, but we'll see how it plays out. There's still a chance we get away with this. The, the cash rate doesn't have to go up. It's just now for me, in my analytics, is it's just become the most likely scenario. It's not a done deal, but it's just the most likely scenario.